Hello guys, my name is Jay and welcome back to episode 4 of the Brash SMP server. In today's episode, I am really excited because we have a bunch of stuff done that I've done off the camera and we have a big project that we're going to be getting done, getting done today. So, first things first, we got to show off, ooh, ooh, not the skeleton, not the skeleton. How did, did I really just miss four or five, four, four times in a row, five, that, that sneaky skeleton, die, die, die. The skeleton was invincible but yeah guys first things first let's just show off what i have done so far so we need a tree farm i've explained that in the last episode that we needed a tree farm and i am not 100 percent done with the tree farm but i really really close we finished off this episode right here and i wanted a afk automatic tree farm so behind this waterfall of amazingness let me make sure because i've seen two creepers in that waterfall and i killed them earlier uh, we have this contraption. What this is, is a fully automatic tree farm for 1.10 Minecraft. So, the way that it works is you sit in a minecart. There's a lever right at that minecart right there. I hope you can see it. And when you press the lever, the whole thing activates. All it does is rapidly dispenses the um, this bone mill here. So, you have uh, saplings in this hand. Uh, axe in that hand and then you just hold both keys down and it breaks it and it plants at the same time over and over and over again uh, I'm not going to be using it because I don't have a lot of saplings and I need to make the tree crusher with you need slime for it and No one has any slime and there's no slime chunks on the server. There are but we don't know them and uh, that's all for that But what we are going to be working on first is killing this skeleton. Ooh, God. I suck at bows. I suck at bows. There we go. What we're going to be working on is a automatic, 100% fully automatic wheat farm. It's going to be right here to the left side of the base. It's going to be a 18 by 18 wheat farm. And we're, we need this to be like pretty freaking high. So this is three blocks off the ground. So it's going to be one, two, three, four five six seven blocks up high once we clear out the land and everything like that and i know what you're thinking don't you need villager one villager for the automatic uh, wheat farm and yes you do need a villager for the automatic wheat farm that's why i went adventuring found myself a village and also off camera made a 100 percent infinite villager breeder which i will show you right now you see it's been making a bunch of villages which villagers which we're going to have to use the way that it works is we have two farm we started with two farmer villages in here which will plant the crops and then place them back and then once they're full they would breed and make a villager and the whole cycle happens over and over again and we have that down there uh if you don't know how to make this just search it up on youtube like i did to make it and you will be 100 percent fine we're this is the villagers that we're going to be using we just need one brown coat and as you can see there's more than one brown coat in there and one is actually farming at the moment you see you see the hearts over there i know you've seen them hearts you have to see them hearts totally forgot about this we have a gift from scene thank you saying uh that's what i'm talking about yeah he knows how to give gifts three diamonds a freaking six netherrack four magma cues and 16 oak leaves and a chest and a sign thank you scene for that amazing amazing gift we will add that to our storage thing that we're actually going to have to do to make this automatic wheat farm the way that it works is there's going to be rails at the bottom going around over the whole entire track with a mine cart a hopper mine cart running all the way all the way and right on top of that is going to be some dirt the dirt is where the crops are going to grow there's going to be a villager up there his inventory is going to be full of seeds now got to be full of seeds if you're using carrots then it cannot be full of carrots i'm not for sure if it can or can't uh the way the reason why is if you break a carrot it, it you know a fully grown carrot it might you know drop three or two or something like that four but the villager uses one carrot back to plant it so you're not going to get as many carrots as you can get because the villager is taking some to plant it back so that's why most people use seeds so you fill this inventory with seeds so when he breaks it all he picks up is the seed and the wheat is there waiting for the minecart to come along pick it up put it in a chest and that's what we're going to be doing so the many layers that we're going to need for this is of course the first layer which is the railing system and then once we have that this layer right here i believe let me think about it yeah this layer is going to be the dirt 
and then the other layer is going to be you know the villager and stuff like that the reason why i'm making it really high is because i want you know be able to see it and everything like that so without further ado let's get into the time lapse here his chest his inventory is 100% full of uh, seeds so what that happens is he breaks the wheat he's a farming villager by the way so he goes around who well, he's a brown cake they don't have to be former villagers he goes around he breaks the wheat and then he picks up the seeds until his inventory is full and sometimes seeds drop on the ground because his inventory is full and the wheat just automatically drops on the ground and then there's a mine cart up under it going around and all around and it comes back and it gets you know it just I hear the poor. It just drops inside of a chest. So that's freaking awesome. This took me f ages to build. You see the whole thing's freaking waterfied. And this whole thing's gonna be waterfied too. I don't know why, but every single wall that I'm gonna make in this entire world, it's gonna be completely water. So that's all uh, that's been done so far in this amazing world. Uh, uh, I can't think of anything else that I actually did. So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching guys. This has been Golden J. I'm out. Peace. Tune in to episode six, I believe. We're on a roll.